name and my cell phone number in the chat. So feel free to take that down so that if you have questions that you want to talk with me outside of the class, I'm going to try to answer as many as possible, but everybody's different. So I try to, you know, set up times to do that um, so that I can give you some one-on-one -on -one time too. Let's see. So I want to see who we've got here. Pardon me as I move my screen around a little bit. So I wanted to ask a couple questions. And if you want to put this in the chat, that's fine. If you want to talk on screen, that's good too. But um, I'm assuming you're here because of allergies. So that's why I'm here too. Because um, as I mentioned, my name is Tracy Jenish. And I have a little one here at home. I work from home. This is Isabella. And she's a big reason why I do essential oils and natural health as well. So we both have really major seasonal allergies. So when I was first introduced to essential oils, my head was all stuffed. It was this time of year. I was out earlier, the stuff's flying through the air, you know, all that white cottony stuff. Anybody seen it? <laughs> it's there. So those, all of those things were affecting me when I first was introduced to essential oils. And one of the oils that we're gonna talk about today was the one that somebody handed me the bottle I opened it up and I could actually smell it, which was a feat because I was so stuffed in my head. So that's how I, that was my initial exposure to essential oils. So I just want to take like maybe like five minutes and um, we'll do it quickly. If you want to share something you'd like to learn or what symptoms that are bothering you right now, um, I want to make this kind of geared toward you that are on the call. So is there anybody that'd like to share a little bit? And feel free to unmute yourself or put something in the chat. Go ahead. I do feel my throat is like a sore throat and dry nose with these white things around and would be nice if I can find some solution that's not related to medicine. Right, right. I agree. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. How do you pronounce your name? Mayuri. Mayuri, very yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anyone else like to share what they're dealing with this time of year? Or maybe someone in your house. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Priscilla Leach. I have normal all year round allergies, dog, cat, mold, dust, mildew. But this time of year, whatever pollen is in the air, I was went through maybe 30 Kleenexes on Monday. And then the next day I'm okay, quote yeah. unquote. Um, so I have, I've been through several allergy tests in past decades. And I'm more interested in just learning what generally is effective. I assume these are pollen driven reactions right now. But on now, top yes. of what I I live on, on Claritin 24-7 anyway, so this is on top of that. Yes. I okay, hear you. I'm going to mute now. Okay, awesome. Well, the good news is I have a lot of experience with all the symptoms that you're, you're all talking about. So that's the, that's the great news. And I too, I'm, I'm not a big fan of medications anymore. Um, I've tried things and I, I do believe there's a time and the place to head to the doctor or the emergency room. I definitely do. I am not saying don't do that. But sometimes if things aren't working the way that we'd like them to, we're looking for some alternatives to support our body. So great, sounds like everybody's on the same page. Um, and I see some things in the chat, oils to keep sinuses clear, um, help with anxiety, cancer issues. There's some oils for those things as well. And allergies are horrible. Yes, I, I agree. So this is definitely that time of year. Um, and like Priscilla was saying, sometimes we deal with things all year round, but then like this time we're really bombarded with the extra. You know, there, there's, a, there's a coating of pollen on everything outside right now. So we do react to those things. I am going to share my screen. Let's see. Uh, Marianne, can you allow me to do that? It says it's disabled. You're muted. 
I'm sorry, I just made you a co-host. Does that help? Let's see. Yes, it does. All right. Can everybody see the slide with my face on it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. So I've got a, a whole screen of stuff going on here. I want to make sure that you're seeing the correct one. And I will also try to keep an eye on the chat box as well. Okay. So as Marianne shared with people as she was advertising this class, this is about the Fab Four. These are the four oils that I do not run out of this time of year. So they're really important. And plus they do so many other things too. So that's very cool about essential oils because that there's a lot of thing, other things that they can do as well. So my information is there, it's kind of small. I did put my cell phone number in the chat box. Feel free to call me or text me if you'd like to just chat. If you've got more questions than what I'll be able to go through on this class, um, there are a lot of things that oils can do. So I would love to chat with you about that if you have questions. So I like to kind of start out with, you know, essential oils can be really easy to use. Um, they don't have to be complicated. There's a lot of essential oils, but I like to keep it very simple starting people out. And as I mentioned, allergies were my big thing at the beginning. That was the thing that was going to impact my life right away. Um, when I would get a sinus infection, I was out of work for a week usually because I couldn't breathe or I had to keep showing up sick you know, other, it was just a, it was just a challenge with all the medications. I used to call it Sudafed head, where my head just felt like it was this large and I couldn't function. It was, it was not pretty. So I was really, really looking for something to help out with that. So essential oils just actually made it a lot easier for me. Uh, a little bit, what I always do in a class is I want to empower people to take care of themselves. So I'm gonna go over three cool things about oils, the three ways to use oils and how to get them in your home. And we're gonna focus in on these allergy oils too. And if at any point you have any questions, um, feel free to put something in the chat or just um, unmute yourself. Priscilla, your hand is raised. Did you wanna say something? You're muted. There you are. All right, you didn't have anything, your hand was just up. That's all, you're just waving at me, that's okay. No worries. Uh, this Zoom thing, they add new features all the time and we don't know what we're doing, so it's, it's all good. So three cool things about essential oils. I like to tell people starting out that essential oils are safe. They don't have any side effects, they're 100% natural. Um, doTERRA essential oils have nothing else in them besides that essential oil. Uh, there's no addictions with essential oils, unlike a lot of medications out there. Um, they're extracts from plants. Uh, they have amazing health benefits. And each oil can do so many different things and benefit so many, the body in so many ways. Um, and some oils actually overlap. So if, let's say, lavender is not calming for someone like it is calming for me, then we have other oils that we can try that might be calming for that person. So everybody's chemistry is a little bit different. So like medications, um, essential oils don't always work the same way for each person. Sometimes we have to try a few different things. Um, doTERRA essential oils are certified pure therapeutic grade. And what that means is that they're very pure and very potent. A lot of testing, extensive testing goes into to doTERRA's essential oils um, to make sure that we, we get what we think we're going to get. Um, and that makes them very powerful too. They are so much more powerful than herbs. So one drop of peppermint, you would, in order to get one drop equal to one drop of peppermint, you'd have to drink 28 cups of peppermint tea. So they're much more powerful than herbals. So peppermint is one of our Fab Four oils. So the re I love peppermint. Uh, Mary Ann had some out in the office a second ago before we started. And when she smelled it, she, she, she got happy. So essential oils affect us emotionally and peppermint is one of those. It's very energizing. Um, it helps with clear breathing. So this is where it helps with the allergies. So it's promoting clear breathing, opening up our nasal passages. It can also cool the body. 
So this time of year when it's so warm or women as we're going through this transition, what I am happening to me at this age of my life, um, it can be cooling for the body that way. Um, if the body's overheated as it's, 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 it's fighting something, our immune system's kicking in and, and we're you know, having a fever or something like that, you can use the, the peppermint oil to comfort the body as well. And just like Marianne was using it for, hopefully she doesn't mind me sharing, it relieves a little head tension. So if you have a headache going on, you just kind of touch it right there. There you go. It works so well that way. So you do not have to be an expert I, I've become kind of an expert in some of the oils I use, but I started out with books. So I have books here that I offer to my customers. Um, it's a gift with purchase. This is a great one. Um, but peppermint, you know, it's all the amazing things that it can do. It's an anti-inflammatory. That's what helps in the allergy process. So peppermint essential oil um, helps. It's an anti-inflammatory. It helps what we talked about, headaches and migraines. Also good for digestive things too. So all these things, like we're kind of focusing in on the allergies, but like peppermint oil can do all kinds of other things too. It also helps with sore muscles and joints. So you can rub it right on. Um, if you've tried like an icy hot before or Ben Gay or something like that, some peppermint in those as well. So it works really, really well. Any questions at all about peppermint? All right. Uh, essential oils are very effective. So they can be much, they can be more effective than other approaches to health problems. So when we have a, you know, something, a sickness or something going on, a virus, something like that, a, just a common cold, you know, we don't really have much that we can do about it, but we can use essential oils to help boost our immune system, helps, you know, just promote that healthy immune function. On guard is the one that's shown there. That's not one of our fan four today, but a healthy immune system is actually really important with our allergies. So the, when we're having the, the immune response, you know, drainage, sore throat because of the drainage maybe going down the back of our throat, sinuses filling up, our immune system's under attack. So we need to find ways to support that as well. So there are essential oils such as On Guard that help in that process. Uh, essential oils are pretty affordable. So these little bottles, it only takes a drop or two to, to do whatever you need to do. Um, so when I apply essential oils, I might apply one to two drops every couple hours if I'm not really, if I'm really not feeling good. And that goes a long way. So just pennies per drop, you know, like I said, a little bit goes a long way when we talked about the peppermint, how potent it is. So very, very affordable in that way. Um, you can really, you know, I don't spend money on allergy medications anymore. I, I use my essential oils, I use my supplements, uh, to keep myself healthy so that I avoid those um, visits to, you know, the doctor because I have a sinus infection and, you know, if things got out of control, I can do things in my home to avoid the more expensive kinds of things going on at the doctor's office. So, all right. So those were the three cool things about essential oils. They're safe. They're hundred percent natural and safe. No side effects or addictions. They can be very effective when other things don't work. Uh, and they can be really affordable, so much cheaper than medications, missed work, you know, um, visits to the pharmacy, things like that, if we can avoid it. All right, three other things about essential oils. There's three ways to use them. This pretty much covers all of it. So aromatically, Marianne's got a diffuser sitting behind her there in the office. So aromatically, it puts the essential oil in a nice fine mist into the air. So that can help affect moods. So there's a lot of moods in my house here and during quarantine. So, you know, I like to diffuse. I, I like to diffuse a lot of citrus because that's uplifting to the mood. Right now I'm diffusing breathe oil, which we will talk about. Um, and I'm using it. Sometimes I use the on guard oil to cleanse the air. But diffusing or inhaling the oils help support the respiratory system or clear the air. So it's really good that way. So that's what that letter A means. So when you see some of the oils that I'm showing, you'll see the little letter A, you're gonna see a T or an I, that way you'll know which way you can use them. Some oils we use topically. Sometimes we might just only use an oil topically. 
um, that is for, you know, we put it where it hurts. So if we have like the peppermint I was talking about can help with sore muscles and joints, we'd rub it right there. So the benefit is right in that spot. Um, we might want to dilute. So if you have sensitive skin, um, I usually talk about, you know, either babies or the elderly. Sometimes people are taking certain medications that make their skin more sensitive. We might want to dilute the essential oil because they're so potent. So you can dilute it with a, a fractionated coconut oil. It just means it's coconut oil that always stays liquid. You can use avocado oil, almond oil, jojoba oil. So anything that's nice and moisturizing for the skin. Uh, you can mix a few drops, just a couple drops of essential oil um, with the carrier oil and then just rub it right on. So it's moisturizing for the skin and it actually helps the essential oil adhere to the skin since it's so light and could flash off. The last one there is internal use. I like internal use because it's simple and easy. And we're gonna talk about that with a, how I use oils um, for allergies coming up, how I use them internally. But you can put essential oils right in your water bottle if you want. So this water bottle is glass. Um, if you want to use oils in your water, I only recommend doTERRA because I know that they're pure. Um, many oils on the market are not pure and they will say not for internal use. So an essential oil like lemon, uh, you can definitely use a couple drops of doTERRA lemon oil in your water. It helps with the cleanse the kidneys, helps with the mood, um, and just uh, really refreshing that way. But you can also put oils in little capsules and take them that way, or you can drop them right under your tongue. So those are the three ways that we use oils, aromatically, uh, topically, or internally. All right, so I was mentioning lemon. So this is one of my allergy oils. So lemon is a great cleanser for the body. So when I'm speaking about allergies, you know, we're, we're getting pollen in and all these things that are kind of overwhelming our body, the lemon works as a great cleanser. So in terms of allergies, we can use it aromatically. We can put it in the diffuser. We can put it on topically. Uh, or we can use it internally in, in our water bottle, or we can take it in a capsule and, and swallow it that way. So it gets in our body, especially when we're having, when for me, for my allergies, it's kind of an all over reaction. Um, my head starts, I do have some skin changes too with, with allergies, they tend to come out. So when I take things internally, that kind of gets my whole system that way. Any questions about that? I had something else in my head and then it left. I tell people there's an oil for that too. Lemon's one of my favorites. It's very uplifting for the mood. Uh, rosemary is the oil for focus and, and memory. So there, there's an extra tip there. Um, but lemon is also good for mental fatigue and focus as well. Citrus oils are always good that way. So this one you see there, so we can use it aromatically, we can use it topically, and we can use it internally. And with doTERRA essential oils, I tell people right on the bottle, you'll see there's, and you can't see them here, but I'm letting you know that they're there, it says supplement facts, just like you would see on something in your pantry. So that way you know that it's good for internal use. So the FDA says that is safe to be taken internally. Um, I would, you know, keep in mind when you go into the store and you see a different brands of oils, I find it very interesting if they say lemon is not okay for internal use. That means there's something else in the body, or in the bottle, um, besides just the lemon. So yes, lemon's one of my favorites, very uplifting for the mood. I can smell it right out of the bottle, that's the aromatic. I can put it on topically. One thing, just a side note for summer and citrus oils. Citrus oils can make our skin photosensitive, meaning we'd be more sensitive to the sun and we could burn. So putting them on topically, we wouldn't want to put uh, like lemon oil on topically um, if I was going to be out in the sun, you know, in the next 12 hours. So not everybody is so sensitive to it, but there is that possibility. So if I have, I've got a couple blends with some citrus in it, I'll wear them up under my hair or put them under my clothing so that they're not exposed to the sun. Let's see, what else about lemon? I love lemon. Great for energy. It's a great detoxifier. So that again goes along with the allergies, kind of getting that out of our system that's causing the problems. 
Has anybody tried lemon in their water? I love it. It's, I, I drink a lot of water and sometimes it's hard to get it all in, so it makes it taste better. So it's a good thing. All right, moving along. Here's one of my other from my Fab Five. So this is a Breathe oil. This is Breathe Blend. So you'll see it says there's only an A there. So aromatically and topically. So we do not use this one internally. So some plants are just not meant to ingest and that's okay. So this one helps open up the airways. This is the bottle of oil. When I was in full blown like sinus pressure um, and infection going on that I put it up to my nose and I could smell it and it helped open up the airways. This one smells a little like, um, everybody remember the Vicks, and it's still around, like Vicks Vapor Rub. So very similar ingredients, but it doesn't have the petroleum in it that Vicks does, which is a good thing, so it's much cleaner. So this is a blend of several oils, uh, laurel leaf, eucalyptus, peppermint, melaleuca, which is tea tree, uh, lemon, cardamom, um, and Ravensera and Ravensera. So all of those help promote that um, easier breathing. Um, the old serenity. I don't know, Margaret, I'll have to look at that and think about that question a little bit. Um, but the Breathe is one of our favorite oils. We use this one in the diffuser quite often. With everything that was, has been going around, you know, while we, why we've already all been stuck at home, uh, we were diffusing a lot of Breathe in our house to promote really good lung function and just help keep you know, the airways nice and clear. So during allergy season, we are not without this one. And you can put it right on your chest too, if you get congestion right here. So I do recommend that you dilute it with a, a carrier oil, just so it doesn't dry the skin. Peppermint can be a little drying if you apply it more than once, um, but it really just helps keep things nice and open. Um, I know people who exercise a lot, they like to apply this so that they have, can take nice full deep breaths while they're exercising. And I've also known people too that might help with snoring issues. So if you've got someone in your house that's snoring, I don't snore, I've never heard it. So, but um, yes, this can, can help uh, clear breathing at night as well. Uh, breathe is one of my favorites. It, it's just, it works so well. It's the calming too. So all those oils in there can be very calming. So that's, that's again, one of my favorite oils. So we talked about lemon. We talked about, somehow I missed lavender in there. So I must have went right by the slide with the lavender on it. But lavender is the other oil for really good allergy response. So the three main ones, lemon, lavender, and peppermint, that you can use together, but I do want to talk a little bit more about the lavender. Lavender is really good. It's very calming. So in the idea that our lungs get stressed when the allergy response is going on, we want to calm them down. So my daughter, Bella, who is here, um, she used to really get... Um, you know, have some breathing kinds of challenges with her allergies that would really come on and make it very challenging. So we would rub lavender oil right on her chest. So that's going to help with the, the allergy response, but it also helps relax the breathing. So it would, would work very well for her. So calming, so stress, anxiety, um, this is a good one for sleep as well. Just these oils are just so good for so many things. Um, but the allergy response in the body, kind of a hay fever response, that's a, that's a big one um, this time of year and going into the summer. But the lemon, lavender, and peppermint, we can use all these three together. And this is what is the, the powerhouse for me. So using all these three together, either in the diffuser um, or on topically, so rubbing them right on my chest, or I can take them internally. So one of the great things is, is I can make up my own capsules and take them internally. All three oils are good for internal use. Or doTERRA also has a product called Tri-Ease. And it's just a little soft gel. So it almost looks like vitamin E, like the little clear little soft gel. Um, so the Tri-Ease capsules make it very convenient to take them. I'm gonna go to the next slide and be a little clearer for you as well. Um, Tri-Ease, like I said, so lemon, lavender, and peppermint. 
Um, it's a very high concentration of menthol in that peppermint plant, and that really helps that clear breathing we were talking about. Lavender's calming, so it's balancing out some of the effects that the allergens are having on our body. Because uh, those allergens, they start overwhelming our system, and that's what happens, so we need to calm it back down. And the lemon being just very cleansing for the body. So these tri soft gels, I love them. So they're, they're very convenient. I don't have to, um, you know, carry my bottles of oil with me. I can just, let's see if I can hold one of these up so you can see it. So it's just a nice little, it's about the size of an M&M, maybe a little smaller. Um, and the recommended dose is one to two of them a day, which works fine for me on most days, but some days I need to take a few more than that. Um, and it's and that's okay. There are no side effects in terms of that. The the worst thing would be is if you took too many, you might be burping up peppermint. So there's a little too much information for you. But if you a little overwhelmed with your system, you might burp up some peppermint. Um, but the constituents of the oil they really help you, you know, strengthen your allergy response and your immune response against all those seasonal environmental threats. So and keeps your 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 respiratory system functioning real well. So lots of science behind these oils working together. This is not something that's new. It's been around for a long time where people have combined um, these three oils together. And if you go to, if you're a researcher, I am a researcher, so pubmed.gov, you can find lots of studies on different essential oils there too. Uh, do we need to use dilute lavender when using topically? I don't typically. It doesn't um, bother me, but you can. Um, it actually will not dilute the effects of it. Um, and in fact, some, in some ways, using a uh, carrier oil can help enhance the effects of an essential oil. So it can help hold the essential oil there. But it also slows down, the, and the reason that we dilute, especially um, say a hot oil or peppermint oil, we want to slow down it getting, to, we want to spread out the effect um, so that we don't have like a reaction. So peppermint's the oil that I always say, I got mom of the year award when my daughter, because of her allergy, she had it on her hands and then she touched her eyes. So she, she's fine, she didn't go blind, it's okay. But the effects of it, even the aroma of peppermint, if you get it a little close to your eye, you know, you can feel it. Um, water does not help. So water and oil don't mix. So that didn't help. Um, the effects eventually did go away. We happened to be in the car, so I didn't have milk or uh, a carrier oil, which would have helped it too. So, but lavender, you can decide. You don't necessarily. I've um, put lavender on the bottom of baby's feet before and they love them, but um, but that, that's kind of a, that one would be up for you to decide. Any questions about the triees or, or these, these three oils, the lemon, the lavender, and the peppermint? Any thoughts? All right. And the breathe oil too, we talked about that one. That's you know, the breathe oil is not for internal use. That's more of the, the clear breathing, you know, having in the diffuser and then the triees or the lemon, lavender, and peppermint separately. Um, those would be the ones that we would use internally or topically. Yeah, I have a question. Um, sure. Can you, would those be good to put in a diffuser that to mix the lavender, the lemon, and the um, peppermint? Yes, absolutely. So they are good in the diffuser, Maria. Um, was that Maria talking? I think it was maybe, or maybe. Um, they are fine in the diffuser. If you, for what I found for me with my severe allergies, it's not the only thing I can do. I need to have them, you know, either on me or I take them internally as well if my allergies are severe. So like this time of year for me, I know I start getting pressure, whether I'm draining or not, but I'll start getting pressure on my face. Um, or a he sinus headache. So I know that that's happening. But yes, you can definitely diffuse them, which is very calming. It smells lovely. Um, and that will help kind of everybody in the house as well. So that's a good question. All right. One of the other things I think is really important, and I always have this slide. Do you want to feel awesome? 
we have to keep our immune system healthy. Allergies are an attack on our immune system. So good vitamins supplementation is important. Uh, we cannot get everything we need from our food. It's, um, it's just, you'd have to eat a lot of oranges to get enough vitamin C to keep you healthy um, as one example. So doTERRA has some amazing vitamins that also help with the allergy response. So I use these together. The, um, there's a, it, this is like the easy button for vitamins because it has everything I need in here. It has all the multivitamins. It has uh, it's the antioxidants that we need to combat all the stuff that's coming at us. Um, and also the, the fatty acids that we need, some plant-based ones and you know fish-based ones. And we do have a vegetarian version of this as well for, for people that want that. Um, but more energy, you know, healthy immune response is what you get when you're you know, supplementing your body and giving it what it needs and, and creating a good environment for fighting off things. Um, I tell people, it's not that we never get sick in our house, but we fight things off pretty quickly. Stuff doesn't hang out here. So we kind of get it. Our body does what it's supposed to. And that's always important to me, giving it the things that it needs to help do its job. So instead of uh, slowing it down in that way. All right. Any questions at all? I don't want to go too long, um, but I, I, I also want to leave time for, for questions. Um, I have to look into the, the serenity question that was in the chat box from Margaret. Marianne mentions anxiety at nighttime. Uh, lavender is great for that. Serenity that Margaret mentioned is a, is a great oil for that too. Diffusing, even the breathe oil, you know, to help for the clear airways. Um, sometimes I wonder if, you know, maybe some of our, you know, it depending, everybody's a little bit different, but you know, some of the, the anxious feelings that we might have, maybe because we're not breathing clearly, maybe we're not relaxed. So some of those things, we can diffuse all kinds of different oils at night to help with that. Yeah, I have another question. What's the um, ratio of the three uh, lemon, lavender, and peppermint? Like if you were going to diffuse it, would it be one of each, more of one, another one, and the same with taking them internally? Okay, for internally, I'll start with there. Um, internally, in the soft gels, it's about one drop of each, so per little soft gel capsule. And when I make my own um, capsules, if, I'm, if I happen to be out of the soft gels, which I've done that before, um, I'll just make my own. I have some clear capsules, so I put one drop of each as well. Um, the diffuser, it all depends. I, I'm kind of heavy on the diffuser drops because my, my house is more open. So I would start with maybe two drops of each. And just know peppermint is very powerful and very potent. Um, it's just kind of a one that kind of takes over everything else. Um, you may maybe you want one drop of peppermint, but it just kind of go in those ratios and kind of decide. I always tell people, you know what, save your oils. You know, I'm kind of stingy with mine typically. Um, I don't want to overdo it and it's not necessary. So that way, you know, I can conserve my oils, just a drop or two. And then, you know, just kind of go from there with what you prefer. Okay, um, thanks. No problem. And every diffuser is different too. Um, the doTERRA diffusers that I have are wonderful because they have a nice fine mist. It's not putting all my oil right away in the air. It kind of spreads it out a little bit. Um, I've got some other diffusers that I've purchased other places like Amazon or a department store or whatever that um, like they gush the oil. I can just tell like all the oil's gone, you know, right away. And then there's still water and, and there's no, you know, there's no scent coming out. So every diffuser is a little bit differently too. So I, I for, for those you two, you get what you pay for. Let's see. Yep. Nighttime anxiety, put serenity in the diffuser. Yes. You can also put it on topically as well. Yep. Breathe in the diffuser. You can do that as well. I do mix oils in the diffuser. Um, it, again, it's, it's a preference. You can't go wrong. Uh, you can't mess anything up. Uh, you, you know, just kind of what, what works for you and what smells good to you, um, what's calming to you. I, I have this bag of oils that I carry with me. And sometimes I just look at it and go, what do I feel like today? So, it, and I just kind of, you know, listen to, 
it may sound a little strange. It did to me years ago, but I was like, well, what is my body, you know, leaning toward today? So what do I need? So I do a lot of listening to, to what my body's trying to tell me. All good questions. This is, I love it. I love questions. I love, this way I know that you're getting what you need from all of this. All right, so I had put my number in the chat box. So if you have any further questions that I can answer or if I didn't um, quite go into depth enough for you, I'm happy to do that one-to-one. -one. Um, I, do, I do represent doTERRA. I sell essential oils. I teach people how to use them. So if that's something you're interested in too, I can talk with you about that as well. Uh, what books do you recommend to learn more about oils? This one that I have here, is called Advanced Oil Magic. So this is a gift with purchase for my customers. Um, I, there's other oh, books, many of them share the same science. So if you go to Amazon, there's books like Modern Essentials is one. Uh, and I have one here, it looks, this is one of the covers. I think this is maybe a previous version of it. Um, but Modern Essentials, so if you, when you're looking in and you see the, all the references in the back, you know that you're dealing with a book that um, has some science backing it. So Modern Essentials is one, Essentials of the Earth. Uh, Amazon has these. Um, if you're more interested in them, give me a call, reach out to me, and um, I can help you get the best price on the book because just like anything else, there are different prices everywhere you look. So, but if you're interested in, in starting out with a, some essential oils, I can help you get a book too. So um, as a reward for being one of my customers. So. All right, any other questions that I can help with? 